Hi, I'm Jake. I've created this effect inside of Adobe After Effects without using any paid plugins. If you are new to After Effects and this quick overview on how to make this effect is too complicated for you, feel free to follow me on Skillshare. Link to this class in much slower and beginner-friendly way is already available in description to this video. All classes are beginner-friendly, even if you are never opened Adobe After Effects before. Just download the free trial version, I'll take you step by step, explaining and practicing with you the ways of creating each effect. I'm posting exclusive classes on Skillshare every week. So let's get started. To create this effect, you need to film your footage in right way, so this effect would be easier to apply seamlessly. I recommend you to film your footage in pitch black darkest room you can find and with one light source to have nice highlights and shadows on your face. Then I've used the card dance effect to drive my animation of particles. In Z position we can use intensity 1 to push our particles. Brightest parts of your image can be pushed forward and darkest parts further away. With rows and columns you can adjust the size of our particles. The higher the number, the smaller particles you'll get in each scale axis. And once again, to drive my animation, use multiplier in Z position of the card dance effect. Make sure to use graph editor to make your animation smoother. With X and Y scale, you can get proper animation of particle size later after pushing them. We can also add really nice trails to our particles by duplicating the footage with the effect and applying CC radial blur to get the trails. By adding curves to this effect, we can change the look, add more contrast with RGB curve or adjust visibility of alpha curve. You can also combine and experiment with multiple copies of this effect to get a more complex look. Just remember, by changing rows and columns, you can get big particles or small ones like sand, which could be useful for achieving different looks for your other projects. With intensity H slope 1 control, you can get more dispersed animation instead of pushing particles front or back, which is great for filling your screen with more details. Combine it with intensity V slope 1. Just by stacking these effects on top of each other, you can get more and more complex effects as a result. To give the camera rotation effect, you can use the camera system inside of card dance effect, which is handy to keep your project clean and easy to follow. I also thought that it's a good idea to have another copy of my effect, which happens later, and give our audience the point on screen to follow. In our case, it's a face of the girl, which stays on screen longer. Exactly the same principles of animation and effect I've used on myself at the end, but in reverse, so I would appear from the particles. Just don't forget that you can always, at any point, change the size of particles and get unique new looks. Once again, if this overview of the effect is too fast for you or too complicated, feel free to follow the link in description to my Skillshare page. You'll find all of my effects and even exclusive ones only for my Skillshare followers. Best part of following me there is that you can get not just a guide on how to make this effect, but step-by-step -step instructions and explanation why we are doing certain things, so you can understand how everything works and use it in your future projects. I also recommend you to check this only 12 minutes class. If you are a total beginner, it's an easy and fast way to see that you can create VFX, animation and motion graphics, even if you have no experience at all. I'll be happy to see you on Skillshare. Let's make some fun effects together.